these are the items that you will need uh, to make your float hook. These are two awk eagle claw circle C offset hooks. That's what I use. You will need these floats that I buy from Rock Island Custom Jigs and Rigs. There's their information. I buy these on eBay. Just search Rock Island Sports. Ten in a pack. You get ten packs, you get free shipping. It's under $15 for a hundred of these floats. You will need a lighter, needle nose pliers, Plasti Dip. This is my favorite stuff to use. This is white. You have the option of buying Blaze Orange as well. And you also need a bucket with something suspended across. You can use a hanger. I've used a skewer uh, to catch the drippings from the Plasti Dip. This is a small float hook I made. This is primarily going to be used for whiting. It's smaller than the finished product, which is going to be used for pompano, redfish, red drum, bluefish. Where else wants to eat this puppy? So this is the finished product. This is what we're making today. You'll follow the same concept if you want to make the smaller one for whiting. So let's get started. There's no glue required in making this. What you'll do is you're going to heat up the hook, just the very end of it, for about six or seven seconds. When you're done, you will force the hook through the float and when it melts it it will also glue it so that's done that is ready to dip that was that simple see how quick it was to make a float hook let's do one more so you can see this try to keep it narrow and straight when you're doing it watch this one two three four five six Careful not to burn yourself. You're going to push it straight through. Just like that. <laughs> and you don't need to use any glue because it's going to be melted on the inside and that's going to form the glue itself. Next step is dipping it. We're just going to use the white dip. There's the plastic dip right there. I've used a lot of this stuff lately. We'll grab right about there and we'll actually dip it down in the plasti dip to tilt it over to cover it completely once it's covered completely you will turn it that way you can shake it a little bit to make the process of dripping faster this plasti dips a little bit thicker because I've used this a lot you can thin it out and we're gonna go ahead and hang that just like that so that'll hang there for about 30 minutes and it will be dry enough to put two coats on. After you put the second coat on, you're done if you want to keep it white. Or you can dip a little bit of it in the blaze orange to give it that orange color. I've done it here as well. When you're done, you'll have to trim off and expose the eyelet. But that is how you make a float hook. It's as easy as that. So stick around. Now it's time to announce the winners from my giveaway. I'm going to scroll down the six winners. We just reached 400 subscribers. I give away five pomp chews. And then every Friday in February, I give away an additional pomp chew. I do have six winners. Let's see who they are. Well, there you have it another secret coming your way as you can see my garage is an absolute mess but I am thankful to bring you another how-to video we caught that massive uh, redfish in the beginning of the video on that float hook I am looking forward to using that in the surf during the spring run for Pompano and all the other good critters that come out during the spring if you haven't joined this channel yet I do give away that experimental new pomp shoes which is, in my opinion, a better fish bites. If you want a shot at that, take a moment and please subscribe to this channel. When we get to 500 subs, I give away five more samples of pomp shoes. We hit 400 pretty quick. 
Let's make 500 even quicker. Please refer this channel to your friends. They will not be unhappy. Remember, every Friday in February, I give an additional pomp shoe away. I look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, we're here to do one thing on this channel, and that's to excite the surf strike. God bless.